Hello. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to start working on our notifications. All right. So our notifications is um, start with our command P and seeds, and then here we are going to create our notification. Uh, we'll start with a, a notifiable because there are two models that we need to uh, noti be notified of when something happens. So that's visitor and uh, comment. All right. So here we have a visitor. Um, and we have comment, we want to choose one of them and save it into our notifiable um, variable. So every time we create a new comment, we need to save it here and the same with visitor. Okay, so notifiable type will be either visitor or comment. So that's uh, using uh, polymorphic. We did this um, a few videos back. So we're saving uh, two different models using exactly the same table. All right, so these two are going to save, be saved in here. So that's what we're doing here. We're taking either a vista or comments and we're saving it in notifiable. All right, so now we're going to uh, create our notification. Um, so we say uh, notification and then we say create. And notification has um, a few fields that we need to be sure we're referencing. So um, notifiable ID and notifiable type. All right, so the ID will be the notifiable ID. So either a visitor ID or a comment ID. All right, so depending on which one was given to us from sample. And then a notifiable type. So this is the name of the, of the model. So in this case, I say notifiable, uh, which is visitor or comment, was the class name. Okay, so let's uh, go into our terminal and then we'll say rake uh, db reset. So this will reset our database and we should now have uh, notifications um, put in there for us. All right, so if we go back into our SQLite Studio and double click on notifications and we should have uh, some comments and some visitors with their notifiable IDs. So that worked. All right, so I am going to generate the controller for our notifications. So that would be notifications. All right, so put this, uh, we need to list uh, notifications and ability to destroy notifications. That's all we need in the admin area. All right, so command P and go to our root file and we're going to do the same create a resource for our notifications. And we only want um, our routing uh, for index and destroy. All right, so let's delete uh, this here and that's it. And we'll go into our view and see what has been generated. Um, destroy, um, we could delete that. All right, so in our index, um, we can get rid of this line and just delete this here and get rid of this here. Okay, so we're going to our controller for our notification. We make sure we have admin up here. So we're within our, our protection of username and password. So we want to add um, notification up here as well. So I'm going to uh, go to command P and then uh, layout admin. I click on the first one, uh, copy this line and duplicate it and change uh, messages to notifications. We'll do the same with the path. Okay, so now when we go back and refresh, we have notifications. Uh, click on it and it gives us our notifications index. All right, so I'm just going to remove some of the files that we don't need at the moment, we don't need roots, we don't need seeds. Okay, so this is our index. We are going to work on that in the next lesson, and we are going to list uh, the records from our database. All right, I'll see you in the next lesson.